So, cat's out of the bag. Zwift for iPad and iPhone is here. Well, pre-beta, they're just about to enter the beta phase in September, I believe. I've been given a sneak peek at what it's all about to give them my feedback, and uh, I've had quite a bit of fun with it. Let's go through my experience. Okay, first up, this will require a 64-bit A7 processor in your iDevice. There's a good reason for this. Zwift is a 3D game, and to make the iOS versions equivalent to a $2,000 machine, or a $2,000 computing machine, it requires a lot of grunt behind the scenes. It is a 3D game. It is running here, actually, behind me, if you can. It is a 3D game, so it does require these kind of upgraded hardware specs. I'll put the full tech specs below of the current supported devices for the pre-beta period so you can have a look and see if your device is ready to go. Okay, supported trainers and sensors. The iDevices have Bluetooth built in, so covered is Tax, Wahoo, Elite, Cyclops, and any new trainer we're gonna see probably this week at Eurobike and beyond. And I've also gone outside the square. I've got a Quark and a few other Ant devices, as we probably all do. So I've gone and got myself a Bluetooth to Ant bridge, and I used that tonight. Um, I had this heart rate strap linked to my Quark, and then paired to this over here. Had my workout done as per normal, worked absolutely perfectly. So anybody thinking this is gonna exclude people with Ant devices, get yourself one of these heart rate straps, or a similar bridge, you're set. So my first ride of this on the weekend was in a quite a unique spot. Now, Australia isn't known for snow, but I can tell you we do have snow. So the experience of setting that up, whilst being really, really cold, it worked perfectly. I had the Neo set up, doesn't require power. It paired to my iPad version just here. I had set up on the tripod. I had the iPhone itself on the quad lock on the handlebars as well, using Mobile Link because whilst running the iPad version, Mobile Link works as well. So it is the same experience as we're all familiar with. My initial impressions. Unbelievable. The graphics on the iPad Pro, which is the top of the range iPad at the moment, were fantastic. They did surpass the Alienware Alpha that I've had sitting downstairs for over a year now. This thing takes it to the next level. Even in bunch rides, as you can see now, silky smooth graphics. So again, this is pre-beta, but things are looking really good early on. So whilst on top of the hill there at Falls Creek, it wasn't just for show. I was there for a workout and I did get a workout. I hit the Watopia Com. Somebody had the jersey at about 2 minutes 30 or so. So I thought, oh look, what better chance to showcase this, uh, this platform and really test it out by going for the comm, seeing if I could steal the jersey and if the experience was the same. Well, I can tell you the experience was the same, exactly the same. Because what happened is halfway up the KOM, somebody knocked about 35 seconds off that and brought it down to a 156. And as you do, the Zwift effect kicked in. Now, I lost myself. I wasn't in the snow. I wasn't in the, the temperature was actually negative two with a wind chill of negative eight. I couldn't feel that anymore. I wasn't looking at an iPad. I was Zwifting. I was having the same experience as I do indoors when you see red and you want that jersey. So that really hit home that this platform, yeah, brought, has been brought over to the iOS devices really, really well. Oh, by the way, I got a 152, so I was happy with that. There's a bit of footage of me paying for that effort in the end. <laughs> there we have it. Quick overview of what it is and what it does. Pre-beta. The beta period should be out shortly. We'll know more about it in a few days. Thinking outside the square and using a Bluetooth to Ant bridge worked perfectly, so the standards it supports, spot on. So now we have it on the small screen, projecting to the big screen isn't too hard. With the use of a lightning to HDMI adapter, that works perfectly. Um, and also screencasting, there's a little bit of lag, just a bit of backstory on the HDMI adapter. It's not just an adapter, there's a small computer in it. So what you see on the screen isn't exactly mirrored to the screen. 
there's a little bit of color off and there is some four by, due to the screen resolution, there's a few black bars on the iPad version at this point in time. The iPhone version is just fine. Full screen, 16 by nine, and I did my workout tonight using the iPhone version. Zwift has been touchscreen for a long time. So everything you see on the screen here at the moment is touchscreen. So, Debecca ODZ, right on buddy, easy as that. So everything is touchscreen. You can select the riders. Um, there's also a few hidden camera modes and things. Again, this is only beta or pre-beta. So this will be all intuitive very soon. There'll be pop-out menus and things like that. So that's how we get around not having a keyboard. But if you are running the iOS version on iPad, you can use the mobile link as normal. So in wrap up, I see this as a natural progression of where things needed to go with Swift for a long time. Everybody actually has these devices now. They have iPhones, tablets, rather than having a dedicated gaming machine sitting at home just for games and just for computing power. This also opens up a whole world of possibilities. My comm competitions we run here in Australia, I've now got three machines with my phone, my iPad and my computer. I have three Swift machines that we can just run a comm competition like that. Super easy. Spin classes, you saw the other day I met with James in Sydney at the Athlete Lab. What they could do if people brought in their iPads, 30 or 40 riders all at once on Zwift, that would be um, a possibility now without much hardware setup. And another big one is in schools as well. A lot of kids have iPads as part of their curriculum. They need the iPads for their learning. And I don't mind them using it for gaming, especially gaming like this. It might see a whole new range of competition, maybe some inter-schools competition. It just opens up a whole world of possibilities. Okay, that's a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed this quick first look at Zwift for the iPad and iPhone. It's very cute on the iPhone. It looks quite nice on the iPad. And we'll see you online soon. Thanks for watching. Just stuck into the ODZ ride. Little do they know, I'm on an iPad.